Hello everyone. Uh, we built a CB radio application uh, for your mobile or smartphone. Uh, well, a normal, normal CB radio is used to avoid the traffic and uh, not get you caught by the police. Uh, but we want to sort of introduce a social uh, factor into it as well. Uh, our app doesn't require any additional hardware. Uh, you just tap the buttons to add places of interest, paid police or a free parking spot. Uh, and then you let your smartphone warn you there is something nearby. Uh, of course there is competition. Uh, for example, wave.com uh, has a pretty strong presence online, uh, but not in Poland. Uh, in the United States, for example. Janosik and Speed Alarm, uh, those are strong in Poland. None of those apps have any social factor built in them. Our marketing strategy uh, built, of course, a nice app into the appropriate app stores. Uh, and then we would focus on CM and CEO because, uh, well, our, for example, the uh, search for CV radio. Uh, turns out with like 12k local monthly searches only in Polish in Poland. Uh, okay, of course, yeah, mobile app networks, and once we get enough data, we can try uh, doing deals with navigation system companies. Uh, and here, uh, our business model would feature the app free at the beginning, and then we would move to a premium and subscription-based service. Uh, once we get more advanced features that require paid contributors. For example, up-to-date parking spot information in big cities. Uh, the vision is to recreate the city radio social experience that was there, for example, in 1978, featured by the movie Convite. And we'll do that by improving the communication between the users or the drivers and uh, making it more fun to stay on the road. Uh, thank you for your attention. We built the app during the startup weekend from the scratch. Uh, and you can have a look at it. Uh, here are the table if you're interested. Thank you. Do you, do you plan to have voice communication included as well? Do you, have, do, you, do you plan to have voice communication included in your app? Voice communication? Yeah. yeah. So okay. how, do, how do you plan to technically do that? Because analog way, analog sound way, combines itself uh, automatically because of its physics nature. Um, how do you have to do it in the digital world? Yeah. Well, I was thinking we could go uh, voice recognition to text and back. Uh, so we will transfer text data and then get it right to users. Okay. Well, okay. it might be hard, yeah. Okay, step back. Uh, what you've shown us is a picture. Well, I understand the working out. There are those badges on it showing where the police and uh, where the yeah. parking spots. Where is the social aspect? Well, we built a basic version of the app for two days, so you can't expect that much. Uh, so we just wanted to start, and we have you know, basic functional versions right now. The social aspect is not existent right now, but this is a big plan for the What would it be? What would it be? Uh, okay, first, the information. So, uh, once you, you know, reach a certain speed, uh, you get to match. Uh, you get a badge for doing a long trip, for riding for a long time, uh, for helping other people out, for example, uh, adding uh, police or something. Uh, and else, communication. Well, I want to the communication first, and we want to uh, duplicate the experience of the original city radio. Yeah, well, just communication is a bit harder than communication, in my opinion. The, the program Yamashi has 